is uh, Sukhob John Ismailov and I'm making this video from New York City, uh, United States uh, and it's about uh, today's horrible uh, so-called uh, allegedly terrorist attack which happened in Manhattan. First of all, I express my sincere condolences to the families of people who died in this uh, horrible accident and also people who, get, uh, who got injured uh, in this uh, incident. So my thoughts, my prayers are with their families and with them. And as a fellow uh, citizen from Uzbekistan, currently living in the United States for the last five years, I have a few thoughts and observations, personal observations to share on this. Uh, and I have uh, some qualifications uh, and professional background to do this. Uh, since the uh, last 14 years, uh, I've been an independent observer, an expert, uh, following really closely, uh, deeply, uh, the policies of the Central Asian governments, including the Uzbek government, to Islamic practice, to freedom of religion, to religious extremism uh, in, the, in this part of the world. And uh, I know this problem from inside out. Um, uh, I've been working uh, with both uh, families of uh, innocent people who went to jail for their religious practice because of the government's uh, cruel policies. And I was also uh, encountering a lot of people who were indeed uh, fundamentalist, extremist in their religious views and who were on the wrong side of the religion. So uh, just coming from this background, uh, I'd like to share a couple of thoughts on what could have driven those people from my part of the world, from my homeland, uh, Uzbekistan, to choose uh, this path of religious extremism or terrorism. I think uh, one of the major reasons could be uh, radicalization and marginalization due to uh, several factors uh, during the initial uh, period of lives here upon arrival, uh, upon relocation to the United States. And some of the factors could be uh, mentioned here as language barrier. I think that's a, a great uh, factor which drives people marginal and uh, makes them, forces them to stay in their own small worlds, even living here, not to fully integrate with the uh, local society and embrace the local traditions and uh, local good practices. And another reason could be a fully unpreparedness or uh, not readiness, not being ready for some of the uh, representatives of these immigrant uh, population to come and start a new life here. And uh, I, I know this uh, firsthand, talking to uh, most of my compatriots, uh, fellow citizens, uh, on a daily basis. And uh, to, in my mind, some of them are uh, fully unprepared to a new life here. So, uh, both the United States governments, uh, the New York City and other places where uh, the Uzbek community is growing, and also the new Uzbek government could do more around this issue in order to prepare citizens who are relocating to the United States to be mostly fully integrated in this new life, in this new society. So I think uh, this could be one of the most effective ways to prevent uh, from such uh, incidents happening in the future. Another thing uh, which is also a, another driving force uh, behind uh, radicalization and uh, marginalization of some representatives of this immigrant population could be, uh, I, would I would guess, uh, their social, economic, and cultural identity, and uh, loss of such identity upon arrival. Uh, this leads to increased domestic violence cases, uh, both uh, to children, to, to females in the family, to growing uh, rate of divorces among new immigrant families here uh, in my community, to psychological problems, to, again, uh, in some families, uh, attempts to send kids back to Uzbekistan, uh, trying to uh, avoid their growing up here in the United States in a foreign, in an infidel identity. There are such thoughts among uh, some of the uh, people who hold and who practice fundamental views. But at the same time, I couldn't say that the number of such people are great among Uzbek community. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yes, I started my uh, video with uh, condolences in the beginning, but at the same time, I think and I truly believe that Uzbek fellow citizens who are living currently in the United States, they shouldn't feel ashamed of being Uzbek, of being Uzbek citizen. Because one action, uh, the, per, uh, the action of one uh, ill-minded person, it shouldn't set example or shouldn't talk 
for the entire nation. Uzbekistan is a very modern country, contemporary country, uh, and it has given a lot of talented people in all walks of life to the world, and uh, it's continuing doing this. And I'm very proud of uh, being from Uzbekistan. So I think uh, that should be the feeling of every Uzbek fellow citizen living in the United States. At the same time, we could do more, much more, each one of us, to prevent, to keep our eyes open, to keep our ears open, uh, to prevent such uh, incidents happening to the representatives of our community, if you pay attention to the factors which I already mentioned. So, uh, what could be the implications for the immigrants from Central Asia, in particular for Uzbekistan, uh, of such actions? I think uh, that could be used as another excuse uh, for President Trump's administration against uh, immigrants uh, in uh, toughening immigration rules, which is already happening. But uh, I'm still optimistic uh, in the sense that uh, such uh, changes in the policy of the U.S. administration comes and goes. It has been happening all the time. So I really hope uh, the U.S. administration will find a clear understanding that uh, one action, uh, one uh, incident is not a, a, a true uh, identity of the whole picture, especially for the entire, li for the entire nation. So I really uh, hope for such understanding. But uh, what should the governments of both uh, United States, Uzbekistan and other Central Asian nations be ready for in the coming years? I think what, what we are seeing in such incidents are just uh, reminiscences or uh, the signs, signatures of the post-Soviet regimes, political regimes who were in most cases repressive against freedom of religion, against in general human rights and freedoms, which has been lasting in most of the Soviet countries in Central Asia for the last 25 years. And although we are seeing some signs of uh, loosening, some signs of uh, reforms in Uzbekistan under new administration, and uh, we know that New York Times and Washington Post recently made an article about this, which was more or less optimistic about beginning reforms. I share their views, but I still think that personally, uh, the true reforms, general reforms, hasn't even haven't even started in Uzbekistan. But there are some uh, initial signs, uh, which makes us optimistic. So uh, the mistakes, the errors of the previous government, previous political regimes against political freedoms, against uh, political rights, including freedom of religion, we are gathering fruits of those policies, those mistakes, those errors. And today's accident, today's uh, excess incident, is just one of the signs of uh, such past mistakes. So I think uh, both the governments of the United States and Central Asian governments, including Uzbekistan, be ready for seeing several more such events coming in the nearest future. I'm not uh, telling this as a warning sign, but uh, they should be just ready because uh, there are still some more fundamentalists who were either marginalized or radicalized because of mostly mistakes of the political regimes in current Central Asia. And uh, another uh, very renowned uh, US research center was recently reporting that uh, because of uh, fights going on against ISIS uh, ISIS uh, military groups in, in the Middle East and in places like Syria. Uh, they were backing off and uh, trying to leave the region. And they were mentioning that around 1,500 only Uzbek militant groups uh, who joined ISIS in different times, they might be ready to, to go back, partly to Uzbekistan, partly to other conflict zones like Afghanistan and maybe all around the world. So that's why I'm trying to warn that there could be several more such incidents in the upcoming years. So nevertheless, uh, I would call uh, on all Uzbek uh, fellow citizens living currently in the United States to keep open mind, try to prevent and to inform the authorities about uh, such uh, citizens or uh, residents who are uh, caring about fundamentalist views, who are trying to, uh, to, to, to make calls on fundamentalist views and uh, have a, a very high risk to join such path. And also in general to uh, change our own uh, 
minds, our own worldview, uh, to start holding uh, more or less modernized Islamic views, to start uh, fully integrating into the society we are coming to live, to raise kids here, to uh, become economically successful, socially successful, to get to know our neighbors, uh, fellow Americans, other nations, other immigrant population, and to get just mingled up, mixed up more socially, culturally, and try uh, to be a useful citizen, law-abiding citizen, both in the United States and in Uzbekistan. Thank you very much, and uh, once again, my condolences go to the families who were affected by today's horrible incident. Thank you.